What's up guys, it's Ben with the Hookup Tackle. Today, Jeff is talking about the Mega Bass Mag Draft, uh, which is one of our best selling swim baits in the store. Uh, the Mag Draft is a very special swim bait because it's got a unique build to it uh, that's different than so many other paddle tail swim baits on the market. Uh, at first glance, especially this 10 incher, which I know Jeff is a fan of, um, you'll notice it's a very thick plastic. Uh, even up here in the tail section and the tail, uh, the plastic is much thicker than a traditional paddle tail swim bait. So at first glance, a lot of guys are quick to dismiss it because oh, it's too thick. It's not going to have a, a good action to it, right? Well, the mag draft really wasn't designed to have a big tail kick. The mag draft was designed to be subtle in its movements and to create a draft. So when you see this in the water, what you're going to notice is that the head is going to have a side to side wobble while that tail is back there kicking. So you get a two in one action, but more importantly, if you pay attention to the cosmetics and the, the layout of this bait, you will notice that there is like a lateral line that goes down the side of the bait here. And what that is, is that's the top piece of plastic actually expanding wide and then tucking back in, okay? And what's important to note about that is if you look on the sides, you have these fins that are relatively tough and so as this bait comes through the water the water is actually hitting these fins and it's rolling off that thick part of the bait right so it's coming over it's rolling off and it's creating a draft behind it okay so instead of the bait just swimming all sexy through the water you're getting this really amazing draft that's pushing and, and kind of pulling behind the bait so the fish are able to sense the bait and feel the bait in the lateral line which is really the effectiveness of the mag draft. So I'm excited for you guys to hear what Jeff has to say and to check these out, the Mega Bass Mag Draft. What is up guys? Today we are at the Hookup Tackle today. We are talking baits and rods and just the whole nine yards. And today I wanted to talk about a bait that I've never ever talked about really because I've always kept it a secret. But if you guys have seen my last big swim bait project, swim bait fishing in the Wild West 2, you will know or at least see that a lot of the big fish that myself and my buddy Phoenix caught they all came on one particular bait and that is this bait right here the Mega Bass Mag Draft specifically the 10 inch version in the AU color I've never talked about this bait because I always kept it a secret because this bait got bit for us so good and so hard for you know a good year and a half like it was just a killer bait. It was like the only bait that we ever had tied on. And there's there's reasons for it. Just because this bait, for the size of it that you're getting, it only retails for like $32. And you can come down here to the hookup tackle and you can literally just grab tons of them right now off the shelf. And so for me, I wanted to keep a bait that I was getting a lot of bites on that a lot of guys were not fishing more of a secret so I ended up just keeping hush saying I caught a fish on like a HUD or like a Magnum just to keep this more of a secret and that's pretty much what I did and so the very first time I fished with this bait like seriously I think had like four bites on it and out the gate I was like bro this thing gets bit I like the way that it swims like it teaches you to slow down because it is a slower presentation bait and before that I was into glides like the Hinkle Trout and the Depths 250. This bait made me slow down and pick apart different zones where you know I'd kind of burn through it with the slide smear or with the Hinkle. So this was a learning curve that I had never really done before and I got results right away. Now that day that I got those four bites the very first time I had it rigged like it comes standard which is like this swivel system to a split ring to a hook the hook there is a slot in the bait here it opens up and there's actually a magnet up here I don't know if you guys can see it but the whole concept is the hook goes into the slot the magnet catches it and it stays there it doesn't move or anything like that which at first I thought was a really cool concept you can twist this all you want and it won't ever hang up so the fish doesn't have a whole lot of leverage so I thought it was a cool idea but that first trip, it kind of made my thinking um, 
of the rigging a little differently because I had missed a lot of bites. I had missed maybe like a six pounder. It came up from underneath, T-boned it here, and I missed the fish. And I was like, well, that kind of sucks because I kind of, you don't get a lot of bites already when you're throwing big swim baits. So I was like, okay, that's fine. Let's just keep fishing it. Got a few other bites. And then I went into the marina, made a bomb cast on a dock, fishing it out. I get bit and well, here's the video. So if you guys noticed in the video, I get bit, you will see the rod visibly shake. And I swing, nothing there. I keep reeling, keep reeling, fish luckily enough comes back and actually gets hooked and I hook the fish. So for me, a lot of times I will have a fish eat a bait and they're gone. They don't normally come back. So to me, in my mind, I'm like, well, luckily enough it came back because if it didn't I wouldn't have ever caught that fish and it was a good fish it was a seven pounder that was the first fish I ever caught on the mag draft and from that day on it was like okay this bait is going to be the go-to from now on so after that one day what I did was I came up here and I said screw it I'm going to snap this thing off and snapped up the uh the swivel up here in the front took that off put it to the side had the bear bait and I'm like, okay, we gotta, we gotta rig something with this. And what we ended up doing is this. It's a stinger on the bottom of the bait. It is with a decoy quad hook. It's a size one and it fits just perfectly right here on the belly of the bait. It's where it just fits nice and snug. I've done a rigging video on how I rig my stingers on my soft baits. I'll leave a link down in the description below if you guys wanted to know the rigging, but it's a braid rigging, 80 pound braid to decoy quad hook in the back. And then I just have a paper, paper clip holding the hook down. And now with this rig, it's in the middle of the bait. So if a fish T-bones it this way, I've got it hooked. If it eats it from behind and folds up, I've got it hooked. And right away, I was starting to hook a lot more fish. And after rigging it like this, I probably missed maybe four bites out of maybe 30 that I got after that season and so on and so forth. Ever since then, I felt like this is the way to go. And what's so cool is that when you get bit on this bait, hook will come out and you have all this, all this room that the fish cannot use the bait as leverage. It's a big bait. six six ounces 10 inches long like it's heavy so the fish can't use the bait for leverage so you have all of this baits flinging so it acts just like a regular stinger hook that you would put on like a bait smith now i know maybe some of you guys are thinking like well how are you fishing it on the bottom when you have a hook on the bottom well the way that this hook sits and the size of it if you try to fish the bait stock that's a big hook. Those hooks are definitely going to be hooking something on the bottom. May it be a fish habitat or a rock or a tree. Like that's, that's not as weedless as something like this where it's tight to the body. Even though there are these two prongs down here, I just felt like the way that this bait comes through is it wobbles. Wobbles and rolls, right? This is the way that the mag draft will swim. And then when it gets up to a piece of cover, it will roll up and then keep going that way. So it kind of points the hooks away from the danger. And with it being that small on the bait, it doesn't hook anything. Sometimes I do snag, so it's not completely snagless, but it's definitely a lot better than you would ever think. And so going from this to where it's supposed to be fished up along you know, docks and stuff like that, where a lot of these fish would see a bait like this, I was fishing this thing down in 30 feet, 40 feet of water getting bites because 
This style of swim is completely different from a Batesmith Magnum or a HUD, where the Batesmith is going through and like it's just like that little tail wag, a little bit ahead, and the HUD is a lot of tail, a little bit ahead, while this is a lot of wobble and a lot of tail action. So it just creates a completely different vibe to a bait that they've never seen down there. And I felt like that was a lot of the reason why we got those bites. My personal best is on it, Phoenix's personal best is on it, and it just gets bit, man, by big fish, too. Let's go, dude. You got one? Yeah. Got your neck? Yeah. All right, all right, look how, look at that hook placement. It's, it's, it's. That's a freaking Just caught this dog. nice one, maybe eight pounds. I don't know. Might be a little bit lighter, but fat. choked it. Freaking fat, dude. Choked it in there. Nice canyon lake fish. Absolutely choked it. So it's an awesome bait at only $32. You can find them here at the Hookup Tackle. They're always in stock. It's like, it's such an affordable bait that is so underrated because I don't see a lot of guys fishing this bait. You know, if I see guys fishing the mag, the mag draft, it's normally like the six or eight inch. But I think the 10 inch is super underrated and I think a lot of people should give it a try if you're into bigger soft baits that you want to catch big fish on. Now, this isn't the exact setup that I have for the mag draft, but it's, it's fairly similar. So the way that we fished it is with an eight foot rod, extra heavy, but it's got like a fast taper. That means it's a little bit softer. You got a little more bend in that tip. Now the reel that we were using was either the Shimano Cardiff 300 or the Shimano Calcutta 400. The bait needs to be fished slow. If you fish it on something faster, it's not going to swim right, which a lot of people have a problem with the mag draft just because sometimes they fish it too fast. There's definitely a sweet spot when it comes down to these baits to where it, you throw it out there and it's just like nice, steady, slow retrieve and that bait will kick and do its thing. The line, we're fishing anything from 20 to 25 pound fluorocarbon and copoly. Either one worked just fine for us. All right, here's some underwater footage of the bait swimming so you guys can get a better look of how it swims, what retrieve speed that you should do, and what it should technically look like in the water. So that is the Mega Bass Mag Draft, the 10 inch version. If you guys do want a big soft swim bait, check it out, it's an awesome bait. I'll leave a link down in the description below for the hookup tackle. They have pretty much all of the colors I believe here, except for this all you, which is kind of a problem, but that's all right. As long as my color is safe and sound and nobody can get it, it's all cool. But in on honestly, check out the hookup tackle if you guys are local or even online. They have a great selection of JDM baits. They get in new stuff every week, it seems like. I mean, dude's running out of space here. So thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, go out there and chase your dreams.